Hey guys, this is Manish and today I'm going to tell you how you can actually add the custom domain on your local host server. Okay, so to complete this video and to add the complete course which I actually am using, using it. Okay, so for that you have to use two applications first. You need to have a Windows computer. Okay, and uh, it should be at least Windows 7 or higher. And then the server application should be Jam. Okay, because I'm working on Jam applications. Okay. So I have written all the codes which are required to get this system work on. Okay, so first of all, this is the file path where we have to go to make the first change. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Windows installation directory. Here is my Windows installation directory. So I'm going to Windows and then we have to go to system32 folder and then we have to go to driver. Sorry. okay driver and then we have to go to EGC and then here is the file okay this is the host file which you have to open as an administrator so I already opened this file on my notepad plus plus so I'm gonna go back there this is my host file I had already added a domain name okay a custom domain name but I will show you how you can add another domain name so just copy this line of code okay and uh, paste it here and now you have to keep the IP address same but you can change your domain name that you have to use okay so for example if you want to add a new domain name to your local host sites uh, it depends on you what you think and what you want to add so if I have to add them I'm going to add my name as a domain name is muchpay.com okay so I added this domain name and now we have to save the file we saved it and then what is the next step the next step is go to your jam installation directory and then the Apache and config httpd jam this file okay so we have to go back and once again go to your windows installation directory and then click on jam the jam folder is that folder where your jam software was installed okay because in this folder all your jam sites or jam file and your website files are stored so we have to click here them and then what is the next step we have to go to Apache folder here is Apache and then we have to go to config folder config and then we have to find httpd file this is httpd configuration file we have to open this file as well open it in your notepad or any other editor that you prefer to use okay so as I told you, I had previously add a custom domain name. So I'm going to tell you how you can add multiple domain names. So I'm going to copy this code again. Okay. Or you can co copy the fresh code from this file. So just copy it and uh, scroll down to the bottom of the file and add this code. Okay. So we added this code, but we have to make the change. Server name. First of all, we have to change the domain name. We have to keep the same domain which we used in the host file. Okay. So we have to have a look here. We had added new domain, moneysbarchbay.com. So, so same domain name has to be added here. So we copied that one and paste it here. Okay. It's done. Another thing that we have to update here is we have to update the document through directory name okay so what it is actually it is the name of the directory where your website files will be stored all those files which will be accessed through this domain name okay so I'm gonna show you where these files are stored and many of you who have already used them they know pretty well that uh, all the files of websites which you are actually developing in your local host server these files are stored and I'm going to show you where these are stored so that you can get to know if you are a newbie. So within your XAMPP folder, there is a folder named stdocs. Okay, this is the folder where all your website files, doesn't matter how many websites you are developing within your local host server, all these files will be stored within stdocs folder. So currently I have two sites running. One is in text folder and another in WP site so as you see i had already added a custom domain so this domain is accessing through wp site you can see the document root here is that 
I hope you got it. Okay, so we have to add another site using a custom domain, and another site is available here. Okay, so this is the directory name. I have to change a couple of things here. Okay, so now we have to change and update the document root path here. So what we have to do is we have to copy this folder path and copy and paste it here. But we have to remove these back backslashes with the forward slashes so that it can be recognized by the system. And then come back here and enter the same path here as well. Okay, so we are done here. We have to save it again. And once it's saved, then we are done. We have to go back again and restart our jam server. Open your, sorry, uh, open your jam server. And if it's running, then we have to stop it. Okay. Okay, I did one more thing. Here you can see a comment, okay? You don't have to add any comment, okay? It was just added by me to tell those people who are not familiar and who are actually new. So when you are going to add this, you never need to add these comments anywhere, okay? So we have to remove this comment and save it again. Okay, we saved it and now we have to start it again. As you can see, Apache has started working. So it means there is no problem with the codes that we recently added. Okay. So we also started MySQL. So everything is done. And we have to do one more thing now. The thing is, we have to go to browser and we have to access the website using this domain name. Here we are. Come to the browser and enter the domain name. Okay, you can see the website is accessible. Okay, so I'm going to show you why it is solving the WordPress installation directory. It is because I didn't install it before. Okay, you can see if it would have installed, then in, in place of WP config sample file, you would have seen a wp.config.php WP file. Okay, so it's not installed. You can install it as it is done usually by WordPress installation system. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I know you found no error here. So I'm sure that nothing will be wrong in your system as well. But need, you need to be sure that you are using the same application that I'm using actually. And I'm 100% sure that it will definitely work. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.